As more clinics transition to walk in instead of appointment based, how are vaccine doses being tracked to make sure none are getting wasted? We're getting a lot of questions about that right now, and Aaron is at the answer desk with what we found out. Well, Mark, it's pretty tricky because clinics don't necessarily know how many people will show up on any given day. And we saw your emails about this and had Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera tackle that question today. Here's what he found out. Scheduling it and all that, going through the system, it was just something that wasn't, you know, on my mind all the time. As soon as Luke Lewandowski heard about walk-in vaccinations at this Griffin Health Clinic in Naugatuck, he came in as soon as he could. Now he has his first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. I live fairly close by, had some free time, so I figured I'd just pop in and get it get it out of the way. Griffin Health has been running walk-up clinics for weeks, either at sites like these or with their mobile vaccination vans. When it comes to supplying each one, it depends on how many doses are administered. It's a you know traditional supply and demand estimate, previous needs in the area, previous days uh, volumes, um, and it's all calculated to figure out how much particular doses would be sent to a particular location. The State Department of Public Health says providers have reported 154 wasted doses so far, mostly due to no-shows or canceled appointments. To ensure no dose is wasted, Griffin Health keeps tabs on their site's foot traffic, so they know where to reallocate doses on the fly. So we're keeping an eye on the daily volume to make sure that even if we did bring an, uh, an excessive amount here, we can quickly shift that to another location that has increased demand. This clinic is open during the week from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then on weekends from 7 a.m. to noon. Now again, while walk-ups are welcome, you can make an appointment here online. Here in Naugatuck, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.